Hey everybody, today I figured I'd bring you guys along as I'm building and expanding here in the fish room. I didn't realize how many of you guys actually want to mimic some of the setup I have here, so I figured as much as I can show of me building and how I do it, that might be beneficial to you guys. If this is your first video that you're seeing on the build, I actually have a whole playlist that breaks down almost every single step in detail. But today we're going to be focusing on moving this couch out and trying to fit it through the door setting up a new rack is actually a different uh, rack that I that I'm currently using so we're gonna test that out I have some tanks that are already drilled that need to be painted and we'll see what else we need to do so these are all the 20 highs I was able to collect over the past few weeks from the Petco dollar per gallon sale for some reason in my area in New Jersey we're just having some shortages of tanks I know there's a glass shortage just because my wholesalers are telling me that you know we can't buy the big tank setups as much. They're having a really hard time keeping them in stock just because they can't get the glass to build the tanks. So we got 12 out of the 15 that we need. These guys are all drilled. I was really happy that I didn't crack any of them while I was drilling. And what I'm gonna do is actually tape something, piece of paper maybe, and paint the backs uh, black. I do that with all the aquariums in the fish room, even if there's a matte filter in the back in case I wanna change things up. I think it looks good and gives the fish some kind of, uh, you know, background that they could go up against. They know which way is front. And I think it just makes them pop. The paint that I use, I got this at Home Depot, is the Rust-Oleum Flat Black. I use it for all the tanks, never had a problem, and it sticks on there pretty well. Taking a look at the paint job here. Obviously, you could be more careful with it. In my particular setup, it doesn't matter. I just need a rough coat on there. I usually have plants and fish blocking, so you'll never see any details. You know, if you don't want any on the rim, you could tape it up and get a brush and, and get those uh, corners there. And just a tip when you're doing this, you just want to do a light coat. You could do multiple coats on it. If, if I was doing this for one tank, I'd I would tape it up and I would put uh, multiple coats on. I'd let it dry and then I'd put on multiple coats. And you don't need to put a lot on. I wasn't putting a lot on. Um, when you glob it on, you'll get uh, points where it drips on the side of the tank. And even if it dries, you can get that off with like a the razor. But you know, you just want to avoid that. Now comes the part that I'm dreading the most. I have to fit this couch through that door. And you're probably wondering, well, they got in here somehow. The wall was actually built while these couches were in here. And I just assumed that when I asked for a door that the contractors would just pick a standard door. Uh, I didn't know that there are doors that come not as wide. And unfortunately, this is one of those doors. So we'll see, I might have to remove the legs and really finagle this. That was a process and a half, but thankfully, we got it through. So now we can start building that new rack. Empty wall there now. Here's the new shelf we're gonna test out here. It's another gladiator. So this one is also a gladiator and all the other ones in the fish room, I got at Walmart, I forget the brand, but I did a whole video on them. Still stand by these, uh, just testing out the gladiators because they just seem more uh, sturdy and that they'd be able to hold more weight. Might as well upgrade. This one I got at Lowe's. A little bit more expensive than the ones I'm using now. But it'll be worth it if these do work out. This rack is definitely a lot easier to put together versus the ones I have now, especially if you're by yourself. We have three supports instead of just the one in the middle. And you don't need any nuts or bolts or anything. For this part, for the brace, you just line it up and lift just a little bit. I'm doing it one-handed. I can even do it one-handed here. A little bit of pressure, and now that's locked in. So it's super easy. I really like that it has the three supports. 
Got the rack all set up. And we even have a little bit of room over here if I remove this storage uh, piece here. So we'll see what happens with that space. But for now, the only thing stopping me from putting tanks in is getting the pieces of wood cut at Home Depot for each of the shelves. And I just gotta stain those uh, with a waterproof stain and let those dry and then I can start setting the tanks. And the last thing I'm gonna do today is silicone these bulkheads in. Um, I'll link to the video where I explain this process in more detail, but we're just gonna put the bulkhead in the hole that we drilled, just to show you one that's already screwed in the back there. Just um, use the washer bit here to screw that in. I silicone um, the inside and outside and kind of let that set for at least 24 hours, usually longer before we start putting the other fittings in and fill up the tank with water. Hopefully that video helped you guys out. Keep an eye out for the next video where I'll be going over how I prep the overflow pipes and pick out and treat the wood that I put on each rack. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.